Part three, overview. So writing overview means summarizing whole essay by explaining general trends and differences. Define general trends, study beginning and ending points of each trend, and then summarize the general pattern. In this example, all other countries, more downward pattern, despite the fluctuation over the period. Europe has a clear downward direction, so there was a fall, and North America has slow decline pattern as well, though popularity of package has declining pattern, generally speaking. So that is why it is possible to write to become less popular over time. So all trends has kind of downward movement. When it comes to general differences, visits to all other countries was the highest and North America was the lowest. And you can write this as an addition to overview shown in the example. Part 4. Details. So body part is all about describing graph in detail. For this, you need to include comparison, key changes, data and time. Here you can describe each trend separately by comparing, writing key changes and always try to support with data and time. For instance, in this sample, it states it was the second most visited place as a package holiday. So it is comparison. Then, supporting with the data, which was 57% at the beginning of the period. Then, mention key changes. So in this sample, it says it had a significant drop, or there was a dip. So these are some of key changes about Europe. And between 2003 and 2007, from 55% to just under 40%, or around 1996, are the supporting data. So always make sure, give some support for your description or comments. But when you are writing essay, you must avoid repetition. So in this example, all the linking words, verbs and nouns not repeated. The second, you should try to write wide range, which means grammar range. Here an example, mix of complex and simple sentences are used. It was the second most visited place in main clause, which was 57% is dependent clause. It had a significant drop is a simple sentence, as there is no dependent clause. Now let's take a look at the second body part, which is about North America and all other countries. So here, key changes are fluctuation over the period in both trend and peak period to all other countries. So it is mentioned in the sample. For comparison part, about visit to all other countries, mentioned as the highest in sample answer. Data and time is supported in more sentences, such as 30% and 40%, 62% and around 2001. Again, here you should stop repeating verbs and word patterns to have a range both in grammar and word usage. Here, if you notice, verb fluctuate, use it as a verb and as a noun which is fluctuation. Now it's your turn to take some action. So try to write an essay of your own and make sure to follow the guidelines in this lesson.